story times are Saturday. And, and then there was a story time just yesterday. How is there two posts in a row? What is going on? I just love telling you guys stories. That's what's going on. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My thoughts will probably offend you. And before I get into this story time, two things. You guys are always asking me, where is Yoshi? She is literally right here, always under my feet. My shadow. And two, I see that my I only date white guys video is kind of doing that whole blow up thing. And some of you people are new here and don't understand my clickbait titles. Not all of them, but most of them. You know, like the real triggering one. If you think that I'm going to limit myself to only one race, you are just delusional and didn't actually watch the video. I mean, who gets on a video platform and doesn't actually watch the video or listen to a lot of people. And since that video is a hot topic on my channel right now, I figured I would just play it off and uh, piss off or entertain or both with a story time video. The time I told my dad that I was dating a white boy. Oh, Lord. All right, so if you've been here for a while, then you know that me and my dad do not have the closest relationship. I got daddy issues, y'all, yes. It's great, it's wonderful. I, 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 I love it. When I lived with them when I was younger, I would say that I was more cordial to my dad. I showed him respect. I was living in his house, so it was more like, just being cordial when he actually was around. It was literally a hi dad, bye dad, happy birthday, happy Thanksgiving, and Merry Christmas for the majority of my 20 something years. I don't need to get into details about my narcissistic father and how it <laughs> me mentally, but if you want more information of those story times, I will link them below. So I ended up meeting my boyfriend on a site called OkCupid. I usually don't introduce men to my friends and family because one, it's none of their business. And two, back then I felt like whenever I would introduce someone that I was talking to, that it would literally just crash to the ground shortly after. And then I would have to explain to everyone what happened and that I'm just going to be a lonely piece of for the rest of my freaking life. Just kidding, but that's how you feel after someone breaks it off, right? Like we've all kind of felt that. We've all been the breaker offer and we've all been on the other side and it feels very shitty. But this dude, it was getting pretty serious. He made it very clear that he was very interested in having a relationship with me. So I said, okay, when he asked me to be his girly friend. But you know, I had a good feeling about this one. It was definitely different in every aspect. He asked me on actual well thought out dates, you know, putting thought into some dates that I don't think a lot of people do. It was just very fun and he felt very humble. And he even told his parents and his friends and family about me, which gave me a lot of anxiety. But I was like, oh, maybe I should probably tell my, my family at least. So I told my mom who I am very close to and she's a black woman and you know, she she's the easy one. Everybody on that side of the family just loves mixing it up. They love some swirling. Indian, Asian, white, they don't give a f I mean, they'll definitely point out your race and roast the hell out of you at family holiday events, but they will roast you whether you're black, white, Asian, it doesn't matter, they will roast you. They do not discriminate with their roasting session, no matter what race you are. They're very loving in that way. Now my dads and the people that I have met on that side are completely different. That side is very traditional. You must choose a partner that went to college. Choose a partner that graduated from college with a very impressive degree so that you can brag about someone else's accomplishments to your family and friends. They must have a great corporate job or have their own business making lots of money. They must be strong and a big man. That's the head of the house. The center of all things. The person that makes all the rules and loves football. Because what kind of man doesn't like football? Because if you're a man and you don't like football, you're gay, right? Totally. So I head into my dad's room while he sits in his big king chair, while he pops those damn sunflower seeds. And I say, hey dad, I have a boyfriend now. Just thought I would let you know. And he wants me to tell him more about new boyfriend. And so I do. Well, he went to SDSU and graduated with a food science degree. Oh, good, good. He owns his own baking business. A businessman, you say? Yeah, his goal is to keep building it and have locations all over California. He's planning on buying a house in the future once his business grows and he is financially stable. He wants marriage in the long run. And that's really it. Good, good. He sounds like a great man. You'll have to introduce me to him in the future. Oh. 
and he's white. My dad hops out of his chair and my dad did not move quickly. So I was like, he hops out of the chair with a mouthful of those damn sunflower seeds that he always popped and says, well, what's wrong with a black man? Nothing's wrong with a black man. I never said that there was. All I said was my boyfriend's White. Well, I just don't understand why you couldn't find a black man. And then I kind of thought back to all of the black men that I did go on dates with. The ones that threatened me, copped an attitude when I wouldn't give up the puss. You know, the, the vagina. Was just rude or maybe I just didn't have any connection. And that wasn't just black men, it was the Asians that I date, the white guys that I dated, the black men that I dated, the one Indian. That little group was just assholes. And I wasn't just going to settle for one of the black guys that I went on a date with just because he was black. So I could fulfill this black prophecy that my dad had for me and my future relationship. I went on some dates with some pretty horrid dudes of all colors that I said you two pretty quickly. My use do not discriminate. But I thought it was just funny that he just thought or maybe expected me to just go out and just find a, any black guy and be like, I choose you. And we have a magical connection. He has all the things that my dad requires in a man, all while treating me amazingly and black, all at the same time. I mean, that's pretty difficult to find any man that has all those things on a regular basis. And don't get up here saying, well, you know, women are pretty horrible pieces of too. I don't date women. I don't really care. Back to the topic. I'm not going to discriminate someone that I have a connection with just because they aren't the same shade that I am. So he's going on his little tangent and I just walk back downstairs and pass up my mom like, hey, just told dad I'm dating a white boy. So speed up to us living in Arizona. It's three years later, so obviously it's getting a little serious with my boyfriend. And I'm in Arizona, he's still in California, so we're doing this whole long distance thing and I visit him in Cali. He comes to Arizona and visits me. And the first day that my boyfriend gets in town. My dad pulls him aside into his man cave with his football shit everywhere. Football's blazing on the big screen. Football's probably on the computer. Football's probably on my dad's iPhone. So he calls my, my boyfriend in there, you know, come on, into my man cave. Thank you for being such a good man to my daughter. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. You know, I always wanted Michelle to end up with a black man, but you know, you're all right. Could you imagine if I went to my guy's white family's house, trying to have a nice visit, catch up with time with my boyfriend, hang out with his family, and his dad stands up and says, Michelle, let me talk to you in my office. And says, you know, you're great and everything, and I'm really happy that you're treating my son well, but I always really wanted him to end up with a beautiful white woman. But I guess, I guess, you know, you're okay too. I would have no issue saying you. You bastard. Die. Anyway, that's the story about when I told my dad that my boyfriend is a white boy. Do you like to mix it up? Are you a swirler? Or do you prefer to stick to your own race? I do have a question though to people who prefer, not really prefer, but like they are just, they do not date anyone else. Like the ones who say that they are not attracted to any other race, just their own. I have a question for you that I've always kind of wanted to know. And I really have absolutely no problem with these people. If you only date black people, if you only date white people, if you only date Asians, I don't care. That's your preference. But if you found someone that they were just hilarious, you had a great time with, I mean, I mean, your heart just fluttered just hearing them speak. And you were physically and mentally just overly attracted to this person, but there was a catch. And you know what, catch, I'm gonna tell you. They were a different race. Would you just slice them out of the possibility of being a romantic lover? Because they aren't the same race as you. I've really been dying to like talk to someone that was like that and just kind of like chit chat. So let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today and check out my story time from yesterday when I dated a professional, professional Pokemon card player. Don't forget to share, subscribe. Look, it's right at the bottom of the screen. Just do it right there. Follow me on Instagram and hit the notification button so that you will be notified about this face and my stories and my opinions. All right, you guys, I will see you all next time.